according to this picture, A species move faster than B. So in Y direction, A species is supposed to be faster. So if I represent VAY in Y direction with the vector, the vector is supposed to be long vector. But for B species, vector is shorter. This is VBY. Right? And if you take the average for all species combined, the average velocity is supposed to be somewhere in the middle. So this is VY. VY here can be calculated. So the magnitude of VY, whether or not it's closer to VA, or whether it's fast or slow, the average velocity of all species depends on velocity of species A and species B, right? If both species move fast, then average velocity is supposed to be fast. If both species move slowly, then average velocity will be slow. So it depends on velocity of A and velocity of B. However, we know that this is average between A and B. The average here can never slower than B, can never faster than A. Okay? It must be somewhere in between it will become closer to VAY if you have more A. If you have more B, it becomes closer to VB. So it depends on amount of molecules in your system. And amount is represented by mass fraction. Okay? So you know that it depends on velocity of each species. It depends on amount. So, people propose that it can be calculated based on this equation. The higher the fraction of A, the average velocity of the mixture becomes closer to A because this becomes 1, this becomes 0. Right? Now, if I take VAY and subtract, up, subtract it by VY, what does it mean? This term here represents how fast A species move comparing to average. Um, average velocity of the mixture. Okay? I'd like you to imagine this. Suppose I have, have you seen the broadcasting of marathon? When people gather for the run in marathon. Okay? Imagine you have marathon event. And in that event, there are two groups of people young people and old people. Okay? Suppose I have young people wearing blue. Okay? I have young people here ready to walk or ready to run. I have a bunch of old people wearing red mixed together and they're ready to start a marathon. Once it start, everybody walk or everybody runs supposed to this direction. All right. What happens? The longer the time you see that the crowd here expand, right? 
because the old people would go slower, the young people would go faster. So the overall crowd expand. But at the same time, the whole crowd move from the left to the right. Okay? If I have, how can I draw this? I like helicopter. Okay? And in helicopter here, I have a camera, a camera for news, for, for TV. And this camera crew point out the camera right in the center of the whole crowd. Of course, in order to keep the, the, the picture to see the center of the whole crowd, the helicopter here is supposed to move together with the crowd, right? So it moves from the left to the right at some certain speed. At the same time, trying to maintain the location of the helicopter here right in the center of the whole crowd. This velocity is average velocity of the mixture because it goes along, I mean it does not care whether you look for the old people or young people, it just looks for overall crowd. All right. Now, as the times goes by, you should have a bunch of young people up front. And all people may be left behind. Maybe some of them look something like this. Okay? So in order to keep, I mean, some of young people may go faster than the other. So the whole crew here expand. The area that people gather expand. At the same time, it moves from the left to the right. So my helicopter here is supposed to go to stay in the center of the whole group, okay? If you look from the helicopter here, what do you see? You should see that the young guy here move forward and you see the old guy move backward, right? On the other words, the old guy here was left behind. It's what left behind. If you now consider how much this group move, how fast this group move, the velocity, average velocity of this group is VAY. Okay? Right now, this guy moves faster than this helicopter. Or in other words, this guy moves faster than the average velocity of the whole group. That's why he is leading. Right? If you take the difference of velocity, see how much the whole young guys group move faster than average. That's this number. Okay? All right? So the difference of VAY and VA tells you how much A move faster than average. Then, the unit of this term would be meter per second. If you multiply this term by its concentration, now I have a lot of young guys over there. If I multiply by mass concentration of A, The mass concentration is supposed to have unit of kilogram of A per cubic meter. The product here would be a kilogram of A per meter square per second. What is this? 
is mass flux right this is mass flux. So, now you can have mass flux a in y direction equal to rho a time difference of V a y minus V y. So, this is mass flux of a relative to mixture velocity. Okay. You should notice this cubic meter here is the volume like this volume. You have meter here, meter there and meter there or meter there it's cubic meter. This cubic meter is cancelled with one meter. The meter here is one length in which direction? If this is y direction. This meter is meter in y direction. You cancel it out. So, you cancel this one out. What you have would be square meter which is perpendicular to the direction of your interest. So, that is why it is called mass flux. It is mass per area perpendicular to that direction. Okay. So, if you repeat the whole process for B species, you can have row B V B Y minus V Y equal to flux of B in Y direction. And row A equal to V A Y minus V Y equal to J A Y. If you take combination here, J A Y plus J B Y that is equal to these two terms combined. So, I am going to take rho a into the parenthesis. I am going to have rho a v a y plus rho b v b y. I take this pair first and then subtract by the later. Right. And rho A is equal to rho omega A. Rho B is rho omega B. So therefore I can take omega out um, I can take rho out to get omega A V A Y plus omega B V B Y. 